Welcome! In this video, we'll be looking at the new Lender Task screen added as part of Due North's Summer 2018 update. The Lender Task screen will replace the existing Lender History screen in coming weeks. The new screens have been designed to make it easier to track the progress of requests and see what tasks need to be done next. First, let's have a look at the structure of the new screen. You'll notice that we have three tabs available, New, Open, and Complete. The New tab is where you'll have new incoming requests. If you have any new requests, little red flames will appear on the tab to alert you. The Open screen will have all your in-progress open requests, and the Complete tab will have all your tasks that are your requests that are done and finished, and you don't need to worry about them anymore. For the purposes of this video, I've requested a book from this library. So this is the Potsdam Public Library. They've logged in and they've looked. Oh, there's a new request waiting for us. Let's go look. So, just like in the old lender screen, what you needed to do was consult your own ILL procedures for your library and check your own ILS system to make sure that you, the book is available for checkout. And then you can decide whether or not to loan the book. For the purposes of the video today, we're going to go ahead and say, yes, we're going to loan this book. As always, you can provide a note information about when you're going to send it, how you're going to send it. Once you've done that, you click Submit. So let's go back to the Lender Task screen again. You'll notice the flames are gone because now this request has moved on to the open screen. So you'll notice now that the request number has a hyperlink available to it. Clicking on this link opens a new browser tab. The request detail screen shows all the information about this request in a single screen. Please notice that any notes attached appear down here at the bottom, including a new private note field. The private note field is only visible to members of your staff from your library. The borrower, in this case, won't see whatever you write in the private note. So let's close this and return to the list. If any notes appear on a particular request, they appear as a chat bubble down below. So this request down here has a note attached to it that's visible looking at the request detail screen. Also, we have the ability to now print a pull slip from this screen. If you click on the printer icon, it pulls this, it opens a print dialog and pulls this up. This pull slip is designed to be used in stages. The top has pull slip information. The bottom section then can be separated and used as a mailing label or delivery label. The remainder of the sheet then can be included in the delivery. The borrowing li library then can hold on to the sheet and then use the use the separate this section and use this again as the mailing or delivery label. Let's return back to the lender task screen. The last two columns are where the lender task screen differs from the lender history screens. The status column shows where this request is in the process. Right now we've agreed to send this book, but we haven't yet sent it. Once we've checked it out of our ILS using the established procedures, we then can mark sent by clicking here. We're given an opportunity to add notes sent today via USPS. If we wanted to leave a private note, we could, and then we click submit. You'll notice that when we return to this open screen, that request has disappeared. It's now moved on to the next stage. Once I've put that book in the mail, I no longer need to worry about it in Due North. So let's look at it on the complete tab. And there it is. When the book is returned, 
you check it in via your own ILS and follow your normal procedures. Now, at a glance, I can see whether or not requests have been filled right from a single screen. Before we wrap up this video, let's talk about some other new features. At each status, we're given the opportunity to move the request not only forward, but back to the last status. And we always have the ability to edit the notes as well. Let's have a look at the request we just did. Say, for instance, for some reason, I did not send the book when I thought I sent the book, and I want to make sure that it gets done. I can always say mark unsent, and it moves the book back to the previous status. So that way, it's back on my to-do list to do again. I'm going to move this book back to where it was. You'll also notice that I have the ability to edit notes right from that screen. Other, another feature to notice, too, is, is that on each of these tabs, there is a default number of days that you can specify for how many requests show up in that particular window of availability. This default, default can be changed. If you go to My Account, you'll notice Filter Days down here is listed as 30 days. Click Edit scroll to the bottom, and you can change the filter days to any value that you wish from the list. So we'll change this one to 90 days, we'll say save, we'll go back to lender tasks, and you'll notice now it defaults to 90. A little bit of flexibility for you. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.